Black Wall Street, located in the Greenwood District of Tulsa, Oklahoma, is a symbol of black prosperity, resilience, and the tragic consequences of racial violence in America. Emerging in the early 20th century, Greenwood was established by black entrepreneurs and community leaders following the Great Migration, when African Americans moved to cities in search of better opportunities and escape from Jim Crow laws. By the 1920s, Greenwood had transformed into a vibrant economic hub, often referred to as Black Wall Street, boasting over 300 black-owned businesses, including banks, restaurants, theaters, and grocery stores. This flourishing community was not only economically independent but also culturally rich, fostering a sense of pride and unity among its residents. The success of Black Wall Street was a testament to the entrepreneurial spirit of its founders, including prominent figures like O.W. Gurley, who purchased land and encouraged black residents to invest in the area. Greenwood thrived as a self-sustaining community, with its own schools, churches, and social institutions. The wealth generated in the district enabled African Americans to support one another, creating a network that prioritized black ownership and financial empowerment. The Greenwood residents took pride in their accomplishments, showcasing what could be achieved in the face of systemic racism and economic barriers. However, this prosperity was met with jealousy and hostility from some residents in Tulsa. Racial tensions were exacerbated by the ongoing struggles against segregation and discrimination. A significant turning point occurred in late May 1921, when a young black man named Dick Rowland was accused of assaulting a white woman, Sarah Page, in an elevator. Although the details of the incident remain murky, the accusation ignited outrage among white residents, leading to a false narrative that fueled racial animosity. This event ultimately served as the catalyst for the violent events that would soon unfold. On June 1, 1921, tensions erupted into chaos as a white mob descended upon Greenwood, fueled by rumors and a desire to destroy the successful black community. What followed was a brutal massacre that left hundreds of black residents dead, thousands homeless, and the district in ruins. Over the course of 18 hours, the mob looted, burned, and destroyed homes and businesses, effectively decimating what had been a thriving economic center. Estimates suggest that around 1,000 homes were destroyed, and the Greenwood community faced not only physical devastation, but also deep psychological scars that would last for generations. In the aftermath of the massacre, the residents of Greenwood faced insurmountable challenges. While some community members attempted to rebuild, they were met with indifference and resistance from local and state authorities. The insurance companies refused to compensate for the losses, citing the destruction as a result of a riot despite it being an act of racial violence. The lack of support from government officials further compounded the suffering, illustrating the systemic barriers that persisted in the wake of the tragedy. Despite these obstacles, the spirit of resilience and determination characterized the response of the Greenwood community. In the following years, residents worked tirelessly to rebuild their lives and restore their businesses. By the mid-1920s, Greenwood had begun to rise again, though the scars of the massacre remained. This resurgence was not just a matter of physical reconstruction, it also represented a profound act of defiance against the forces that sought to undermine their achievements. As the years passed, the story of Black Wall Street became largely overlooked in American history. The massacre was rarely discussed and the community's achievements were largely erased from mainstream narratives. It wasn't until the late 20th and early 21st centuries that renewed interest in the events of 1921 began to surface. Activists, historians, and descendants of Greenwood residents worked to bring attention to the injustices faced by the community, advocating for recognition and reparations for the survivors and their families. In 1996, the Oklahoma state government established the 1921 Tulsa Race Riot Commission to investigate the events of the massacre and recommend reparations. The commission's findings confirmed the devastating impact of the massacre and acknowledged the systemic injustices that followed. In recent years, there has been a broader movement to educate the public about Black Wall Street and its significance in American history. Events such as the centennial commemoration in 2021 brought renewed attention to the legacy of Greenwood, emphasizing the importance of remembering and honoring those who were lost. Today, 
Black Wall Street serves as a powerful reminder of the resilience of the African-American community in the face of adversity. Efforts to revitalize the Greenwood District continue as entrepreneurs and activists work to foster economic growth and cultural pride. The story of Black Wall Street is not just a tale of tragedy, it is also a narrative of hope and perseverance, highlighting the ongoing struggle for equality, justice, and recognition in America. As we reflect on the history of Black Wall Street, it becomes clear that its legacy extends beyond the confines of Tulsa. It embodies the broader narrative of African-American resilience and the fight against systemic oppression. By remembering this vibrant community and the tragedy that befell it, we honor those who came before us and continue to advocate for a future where Black excellence is celebrated and protected. The journey toward justice and equality remains ongoing, but the spirit of Black Wall Street endures as a testament to the power of community, perseverance, and hope.